the problem gambling bill that uh, is before us, HB 1681, um, deals with an issue that uh, you know means a lot to me personally. I've, I've had the um, great privilege of working with a lot of people in, in recovery. And so when I joined the Gambling Commission 10 years ago, holy cow, um, as a commissioner, um, it was something I, I wanted to make sure that the commission was able to um, ad address and um, you know stay up to up to date on the research. So um, I'm really grateful to the uh, task force for all the work that they did and the report that they provided to the legislature late last year. So there there are a lot of issues that the bill brings up and and or that the task force brought up, but the bill before us really. I just wanted to focus on two things. And so the first is that the bill doubles the current funding for the state's um, problem gambling program in order to meet the, the increased uh, demand, and especially with regards to treatment. And then secondly, the bill creates a permanent advisory body to the state program to track the uh, progress of the task force recommendations and to stay current on emergent issues. And I believe that this bill is a, a really strong step in the right direction. Um, problem gambling is something that affects so many of us, our, our friends and, and our, our neighbors and our families. And um, it, it, it's, um, it, it's just really in time for, for our, the legislature to step up. So I just want to thank everyone who's helped out with this. Thank you, Madam Chair.